Hi, I'm Scandinavian linguist Dr. Jackson Crawford. I teach at the University of Colorado Boulder, previously UC Berkeley and UCLA. Today what I want to discuss is just briefly a question that I'm often asked, which is why some Scandinavian last names end in son, S-O-N, and some end in son, S-E-N. Now the answer to this question is in some ways simple. In Old Norse, the word for son is sonar, but when used in a patronym, an indication of who someone's father is, which develops into the later last names on the continent, you drop that R so you just have son. So for example, in Old Norse, you might have somebody named Erikr Thorvaldsson, indicating he is the son of someone named Thorvald. In the early modern period, starting in Denmark and Sweden, later spreading to Norway and never really reaching Iceland, these patronyms get repurposed as inherited last names, so that nowadays someone named Andersson or Andersson is probably not son of Anders, but inherited that last name, which was the same last name as his father and his father before him and his father before him. But what happens is in Sweden, the vowel is unchanged, it remains son, but in Denmark, the word for son becomes sun. This is the result of a process called umlaut, where a vowel influences another vowel. In this case, the vowel that's in the plural has changed the, uh, the vowel that's used in the singular as well. It's sort of complicated, we don't need to get into it, but the reason why in Denmark you see S-E-N is that the word for son is unstressed in a compound word like Andersen, or Jonsen, or Jernsen, or, or what have you. And any unstressed vowel is an E now in modern Danish, or it is written as an E, pronounced as just a schwa, an uh. You see the exact same thing in something like an, uh, an Old Norse word such as, as uh, kaka becoming something written in Danish as kaga, of course not pronounced like that. But that A in the unstressed syllable has become an E. So any unstressed syllable becoming E means that son in a compound word such as Andersen becomes E. And in Norway, you end up getting a mix of the two because in most native Norwegian dialects, uh, which are uh, somewhat approximately reflected in the written language Nynorsk, those vowels do remain the same, just like in Swedish, you would expect son and you do get some Norwegian last names in son. But you also have a strong influence from Danish on Norwegian and uh, that especially occurs in the cities where you're very likely to find last names in S-E-N, just like in Denmark. On the other hand, in Iceland, the last name in son still means that you are the son of whoever, so you could in fact meet someone, just like an Old Norse, whose name is Erikor Thorvaldsson. That is literally the son of someone named Thorvaldr, right? Unlike in Sweden, where you'd expect Thorvaldsson to be an inherited last name, Danish, where you'd expect Torvaldsen to be an inherited last name, and Norway, where you'd expect one or the other to be the inherited last name, depending on uh, the specific uh, linguistic heritage of that family. So both Son and Sen are legitimate forms of the patronymic or patronymic descended last name in Scandinavia today. Uh, some forms are more common in some countries than in others, and I hope this has helped you understand why. I hope that if you enjoy learning about uh, Old Norse and sometimes modern Scandinavian language and myth, that you'll check out some of the more than 300 other videos on my channel. I hope you'll also look into my Patreon, where uh, people who enjoy these videos can help support me. And also check out my translations, such as the Wanderer's Hovmal, which presents that uh, most important Old Norse text in the original Old Norse, together with my translation and a commentary on the Old Norse text. For now, from beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best.